like less than ten dollars and it is dynamic and entertaining people I've ever seen. I get this photo. Yeah. Ten. If it had aphids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you killed it to check. I didn't Oh shit. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Me Put your finger up to, to the, the moon. Good morning. My phone is charging downstairs, so I'm not really sure what time it is. But I did make my list last night. It's right here. So today we have to get my car fixed. Finally, we have to pluck my eyebrows. <laughs> do a little workout. I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking for for TikTok. Maybe make a vid. I'm also gonna do a craft to spark my creative juices. Okay, so today we went for a more abstract approach. This is very avant-garde latte art, as you can see. This morning we're going for blueberry lemon baked oats. I don't think I've ever made baked oats that have looked appetizing. And these look especially terrible because the protein powder that I'm using is green. I'm doing some work this morning. It's still very hot. I, I actually dropped them on the ground coming out here. So just for a quick little overview. They look awful. But we got the we got the fluff down. Scheduling my car appointment. I'm gonna get it done early. Just get it out of the way. Cause I have no idea how long they take to service a car. I haven't really I haven't really done this yet. But all I know is the screen is unresponsive and also when I press the brakes, they get very, very squeaky. So I am doing a full service inspection along with a focused inspection on my sound system. See you when I'm there. Check this off my list. My car repair appointment is scheduled. My eyebrows are plucked. And this is my outfit. Let's go. I got this little succulent for my car, oh no. This is why I can't have anything real. This always happens. I just do something wrong. I can only love animals and living things from a distance. It's always been the case. When I was little, I had bunnies. I, I can't even tell you what ended up happening to them because it's just so sad. Update everyone, I'm still here. It's been about two hours and I've heard nothing about my car. When... But anyway, I've been in the bathroom for about five minutes. It's really quiet out there. And I forgot my headphones, so... Yeah! I've never been as proud before, but there's so many moms here. And I'm in fuchsia. In orange. In orange boot cut pants. I think that was the wrong decision. But I got the squash. Hey everybody, squash check! <gasps> They're on! Oh my god, and it's closed! And the bucks are up! Heather has a newfound interest in basketball, but look at my squash! Yeah, it's not newfound. 
Squash! Basketball! Go Nets! Or should it be up in this corner? Either one. Okay, we have pesto. We have spicy soy. Thai peanut, like pad thai. Okay? And then, this is like pasta a la vodka. Just red sauce. Alright, post squash update. I told myself I would stretch a little today. So we're gonna do that. All right, stretch is done. And a quick list synopsis. Fix car, check. Workout slash walk, no. But I did stretch, so I'm gonna give that a check. And I didn't do a craft. So today I didn't really keep to it. And I honestly think it was just due to a lack of time. So I don't think that really proves that lists don't work because technically if I hadn't put get car fixed on my list, I wouldn't have done it in the first place. So I say this almost proves that lists work in a way. So I'll see you tomorrow for latte art and lots of fun. Live, laugh, love. Today, we have to edit, we have to get a little, a little workout in, go on an adventure, an excursion I should say. We have to make bread. We have to do it. I think I'm gonna end it there. So, we're off to a good start. I can't get over this, this little design. Alright, let's start with that much water. We're looking for a nice soft dough that pulls away from the side of the bowl. Look at this exceptional elasticity. I'm trying to cook it like a flatbread, so I just put it on a cast iron skillet instead of putting it in the oven. I think I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay. Listen to this, okay? This was so satisfying. I've heard that people who really get into the habit of making bread, like, get really into it because it's really rewarding. I feel the reward. I'm gonna save these for Heather, but I'm gonna say this is a win. This is a yeast win. Speak of the devil. Mm, mm, mm. Do you want to try my pizza? I love it. It's my first in. yeasted dough. That sounds disgusting. Mmm. It tastes like pizza. <laughs> okay, it's not anything revolutionary, but it's fully baked. No, I know. What I feel like better? next time I would have made the crust a little Thinner? skinnier. Oh, yeah, for sure. I okay. think it was a little thick, too. Yeah. But, like, listen to this. Mm. Ugh. Mm. Okay, I tried to redo the hair that everyone seemed to like from my short hair video. <laughs> and second attempt is kind of making me feel like... Okay, and this, the shoes that everyone hates. I smelled these the other day. Rancid. Oh, about to go watch the... Heather! Who's playing? About to go watch the Hawks in the 76ers. So what we get drunk. You know what makes this even better? Since I'm going out to see my favorite basketball team tonight, I'll wear these. If you don't shut up, oh, he's not my friend. You playing pretty with the bitch, don't get your man. Pretty sure it's halftime. We still haven't gotten tickets, and Heather's probably about to get scammed. Wait, it said fraud suspected.
Let's not be reversed. Oh my god. I'm about to lose $150. What do I do? I say send it. We already paid 20 for parking. Oh, I can't believe you did that. I'll see you when I see you. Maybe we'll be out 150 bucks. Maybe we'll be having the time of our lives. So we got scams because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Don't send money to strangers online. <laughs> but we are in a cute restaurant though. We are. everybody Heather's here so I can't continue my whole to-do list thing just yet because I'm going out of town on Monday and Tuesday and then we're going to the lake this weekend to take a family picture because Harry's in town because my brother's in town which is actually so rare that all four of us are together we all live in different places normally so it's it's gonna be a rare sighting I guess one thing that I was meaning to accomplish was to do this this little spring fashion show. And I think it's even better that Heather's here because then she can raid all my outfits. Heck yes. <clears throat> As you know, I got rid of most of my clothes. I mean, I wouldn't say most of them, but I definitely boiled them down. So now I'm just living out of these two buckets. So I did some spring shopping on ThreadUp maybe a month ago. Um, so I'd have some clothes for the summer that were like new, but otherwise, I've worked with ThreadUp before. If you don't know what this brand is, it's an online thrift store, basically. They have over 40,000 brands, up to 90% off retail price. It's amazing. Honestly, whenever I step into the thrift store, like Heather and I went the other day to shop for her dentist outfit, because she's a dentist. Scrubs. Okay. <laughs> to shop for scrubs. It's very hard for me to control myself <laughs> and too. not buy things that I know I don't need. So ThreadUp's good because not only are you getting a good deal and you have all the time in the world to just scroll through and pick whatever you want, but you don't feel pressured by, you know, only finding stuff in the store's inventory and just buying because you feel like you have to impulsively. You can just shop for the season and I think that's going to really help me as I try to keep a pretty you know, a pretty minimalistic approach to my future self. <laughs> okay, for one, this little brandy shirt I got on ThreadUp. So this shirt was originally $18, and I got it for $10.99. So, almost half price. That's a steal. Now turn. Very nice. You got the swoop back. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. I give it a seven. Item number two is this beauty. It's fishnet. This was originally 24 and I got it for 10.99 once again. Steel. Ooh. Ah. Mm. Got a nice cream on cream. Cream on cream. With the Burks. Mm. A nice seven. Okay. Because it's hard to wear all the time. You know, you have to have a special occasion. Yep. And I'm trying to get into skirts. I just always go for pants. It was originally $89 and I got it for 20 bucks. So. Next item is really cute. It's this bodycon dress, and it's just brown. It was originally fifty, and I got it for twenty four ninety nine. Wow! Are you ready for another highly original? Mm, mm. Now turn towards the light. Oh, nice! Another brown on brown. Yep. I don't, this is a nice summer dress. Oh my god. Stop. I'm gonna give this a solid like seven and a half, eight. I'd wear that. Mm. 
Now that is a nine with the jacket. What up, B? What up, B? I also got this little cropped cardigan. So cute. It kind of has like three, three quarter sleeves. It was originally $71 and I got it for 28. Damn. And I also got these sneakers. They have little like flowers on them. They're so cute. They were originally 94. I got them for 43 bucks. A nice and neutral, neutral shade. Very wearable. Back with another great find. Okay, this one's a two-party. You have to judge the shirt and then the shoes. Bam, bam. <laughs> so this is like, you have to understand functionality here. And that other one I had boots on, it was long. That would be like a night look. This is like a, oh my God. I'm running through a forest. Going type to the look. store. I really enjoy the top. The shoes look like you're going to play tennis. But I think that's the good thing about them. I mean, they're really comfortable. So no, you can kind of wear them like sporty casual. Mm, I'm giving it a nine. And I'm giving these a solid seven. That's good for you. You don't normally like what I wear. I don't like what you wear. You're just different. And then I got this adorable white sweater. It's kind of hard to see how cute it is. It's really, really nice on. This was originally 48 and I got it for $17.99. You give me, I'm going to the pond to feed ducks vibes. Yeah. Stale bread. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it another solid seven. Last but not least, these little red shorts with this cute little belt. They were originally 48 and I got them for $21.99. Okay, this one's like, I'm getting ice cream in the 80s. Very cute. The shorts. Oh, the shoes really go with this one. And they have pockets. Oh, <gasps> I yeah. love pockets. And nice pleated. Mm. What's your rating? Mm. Probably a nine. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be wearing this summer. Thank you, ThreadUp, for working with me. And if you're interested in checking out the site, it's just, it's worth the look. I guarantee you'll find something you like for a good price. You can get 30% off your first order. And yeah, I'll see you the next time I vlog. But I would say, you know, today still counts towards my to-do list day. The only thing on my list was summer haul. And we did it. <laughs> Make up a list after you did something. <laughs>
everyone. I just got back in town. I'm actually parked right outside of my orthodontist's office because I'm picking up my retainer. My trip was just literally, I don't know. It was so good. I can't even describe it. We went rafting and I skinny dipped in a waterfall. But anyway, we have one more day of testing the to-do list theory. And I got this pen to celebrate. So this morning, retainer, I'm thinking like a little post vacation trip organization. My nails are a little busted, we'll redo those. <laughs> a little exercise. Boom. All right. Uh. Uh. Hey everybody, life's pretty crazy right now. Just made myself some soup. Flavor of the day, pozole verde. It's really good. I just popped it in the microwave, but it has tomatillo and poblano peppers and black beans and a lot of corn in it. I didn't think I was a soup gal. Whenever someone suggests soup, I never get excited. I never get a little tingle in my chest. However, I would go for this again. But right now, we're focusing on my nails. Because I really need to do something about them. I got that battle scar when I went rafting. I also finished my soup. Ooh. I put this little nail polish remover wipe in that. So that little last lick tasted like acetone. I'm gonna go pick up some mushrooms. Maybe take a walk. Now that my hands are, are ready for the world, we're gonna go take it on. All right, back from the store, took my walk, and I had a... <laughs> it's short. It was a short... I took a short walk, but I still crossed it off. You stepped outside. No, I really did take a little she stroll. You stepped outside. This is, this is the progress report of my very first live plant. Um, you bought it that way. No, I actually put it in my car and I accidentally suffocated it. But I got a new one. My next goal is to make this one come alive again. But yeah, that's that's the end of this little to-do list vlog. And I, honestly, going into it, I kind of knew the answer. That to-do lists do in fact work. Because I've been using them for a really long time. And my brain just can't function without them. I have too many things, both random mixed with useful and productive, just shooting in and out at all times. And without a list, I really just don't know how I'd organize my thoughts. So if you went into this thinking, huh, I wonder if to-do lists work, know that they do. And if you're having trouble getting things done, it might be because you're just filled with so much incredible knowledge and passing information that could be useful and you're just not writing it down. See you next week. Love you. Heather's right over here studying hard for her what is it? Microbiology. Microbiology. Microbiomes. Fact. Fact now. <laughs> Microbes can't be seen. Is a microbe in this? There should be microbes on there. See you next week vlog. Write yourself a little list. Take a microscope and look at all of the microbes on your arm. You can buy a microscope on Amazon for like less than $10 and it attaches to your camera. Go Find on Amazon camera. or Just whatever say. you like to use and look at your little microbes. 
See you later.